Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Star Smugglers Let's Play. Now today I'm gonna fix up my uh, biofuel production and uh, automation of uh, the bog earth and uh, humus. And I started building this little uh, room here that I want to use for that. But then I thought, why should I build this when I got nifty little tools to build it for me? So I went and got a few area markers and uh, and my filler. So if I do that. That didn't work, okay, so it's not quite aligned. I've done something wrong, apparently. Ah, yes, it should be one deeper actually. We need to do the same over here. And now this one need to go in this corner. Let's try that again. That's better. And uh, I'm thinking let's just place the filler right here and give me back my area marker. Thank you. Just gonna go pick those up. It would be a waste to let them disappear. And then we need, of course, an engine and we need to set a pattern. And I want to have like so. Now this will build walls and floor and ceiling. I already built the floor, but well, if I hadn't, it would do it for me. And of course we need to insert the materials. Not in there, thank you. And now we just go get some fuel and I'll be right back. So I got some uh, cold coke with me. And a redstone torch should do, if I place it like there, no, there then, that's better. So now it will uh, build this room for me and I can just watch it build or uh, do something else. Uh, I suppose I could start placing down some torches in here because we don't want anything spawning. That would be bad obviously. And I could, of course, have connected a few more engines to make it faster, but uh, I'm just going to insert a few torches like so, and then I'll leave it be. Let's see how we're doing for fuel. I might put in a little more, and I'm just going to leave that working there. And I'll go 
do something else while I wait. I'll be back. And as this uh, light here is turning red, we know this one has finished its work. So let's just pick this up again. And you. And a few of those left, like so. And of course we can now open up a little door. I think this would be a nice place for it. Nice little room. And I didn't need to place any blocks. That's just the way I like it. And this is just temporary with the torches here. I'm gonna rearrange things eventually, but just to make sure it's nice and lit. So, I'm just gonna plan the layout on this a little bit and I'll be back. So I've made this room a little bit prettier. A few windows and uh, some skylights. And uh, of course a door. So I'm gonna start off by connecting uh, to the logistics network here. Let's just real quick replace that one with the basic logistics pipe. And the piping inside here. And I'm not sure how I want to do this, if I want to, because I want to install a request pipe here, the first thing I do so that I can access everything when I'm building stuff in here. And I'm not sure if I want to have it come up through the floor here or outside and then in through the wall. Uh, I suppose I could uh, do it like this, so it's not visible from the outside, but still kind of... coming up from... How would that look? Okay. I don't know. Hmm. It will have to do for now anyway, so let's just mark it up. Like so. And we should have access to everything, yep. Yeah. Nice. It will make building the rest of this room a whole lot easier. So let's just fill in this mess we made. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have a, a carpenter or perhaps several of them. Uh, right in this corner here, so I'm probably gonna dig down and create the water source and pump and stuff underneath the flooring here. Uh, but I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, so I think I have a good plan for this room now. And down here I just put up a little water source and pump system here to get water to all the machines I'm going to have here. And I'm just going to cover that up like so. And I think actually that the uh, carpenters are going to have to wait because I want to have 
the system to provide power for them first. So I'm going to start off with a fermenter to produce uh, biofuel. And what do I need for that? Well, I'm going to need four pieces of glass and uh, what else? A sturdy machine and uh, like 16 I guess pieces of uh, bronze. And I also installed a chest here with a quick sort module under it so I can just dump any excess material in there and it will be sorted accordingly. So did I get everything? No. That's better. Oh, and of course I need uh, gears. Four gears. Stone gears. One, I don't know what's taking so long, really. There they go. Um, let's see. Need to upgrade the gears to bronze gears. We have the stir machine, glass, and gears in the corners, and we get the fermenter. Now I'm going to place that guy right there and it will fill up with water and you can see this nice little meter on the outside of the fermenter as well. That's pretty neat. And we're going to want, uh, let's see, a couple of glowstone and no, that's for crafting pipes. I want a supplier pipe, so one of those and then two lapis. So I don't need the glowstone, that can go straight into the quicksort. One supplier. And of course we're going to have to have a sapling to tell it to keep that stocked. And I want to get the tank while I'm at it. So then, let's see. I'm going to put the supplier pipe right on top there. And tell it to keep a bunch of saplings. I don't know. Let's go with a nice half a stack. And of course I need to connect this up to my logistics network. And I think I'm gonna have later on I'm probably gonna have uh, a bunch of auto crafting tables along this wall here. So I think we might have the main pipe coming up right here and then we can run pipes in the ceiling like so. So I'm gonna connect this up to this here system and let's see I suppose I can Do it like that so I don't need to have yet another basic logistics pipe. But I am going to need a bunch of transport pipes. And it looks like I'm almost out. Did I teach my system to craft those? Yep, I did. Nice. So I'm just gonna fix this piping here and uh, I'll be back when that is done. 
And now we're ready to connect up the last piece like that. And it turns green indicating it has connection to the rest of the network. So after a while we're going to see some saplings coming in here. Good stuff. But we are not done yet because we need also fertilizer in this lot here to make it produce uh, biomass. So let's see how we want to do that. Well obviously we want uh, an automated system for fertilizer so let's get an auto crafting table and a couple of glowstone to make ourselves a crafting pipe and there are two recipes I believe that I know of for uh, fertilizer uh, one uh, involves uh, this appetite and another one is done with, uh, I guess I don't have it in my network yet, but uh, ash. And ash is a byproduct of uh, peat. When you burn peat in the peat fired engines, it produces some ash. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, appetite for now. So let's get a crafting logistics pipe and our auto crafting it's gonna go there so we're gonna change up that one for the crafting pipe like so and let's see what we got here Get some sand so if I place like so I get uh, fertilizer so let's just go ahead and import that. And now I should be able to request fertilizer. And of course I should set up a chest for fertilizer because now that I ordered one piece, we're going to produce eight pieces there. So one is going to go here and the other one is going to go back to my default route. And that's not where we want it because uh, I can't request anything that's in that chest. But anyway, let's start with uh, telling this guy to keep, I don't know, eight. fertilizer as well so it should now automatically craft up more fertilizer to insert into the fermenter excellent and we also need power to this thing and as a temporary measure, I'm going to use a peat-fired engine. But this is just to get the first little piece of uh, biofuel. Once we have that, we're going to use biogas engines. So, and of course I need a redstone torch or something like that to activate the engine. Let's go with the torch. And let's see, where would I want to have a chest that can take fertilizer and other forestry rela related products? Hmm. I'm gonna have to get back to that later. Now if we have done everything correct, we see it took one sapling and starts to work on getting some biomass. So this system is working. Excellent. So I'll be back when I have uh, a little bit of biomass and uh, set up uh, biogas engines to help me 
power this thing. And as you can see, I got some uh, biofuel ready now. And uh, let's see. Well, first, while I remember it, I want to set up something here. And that's going to be. Let's see how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm going to knock this pipe there off because we don't need that one any longer. Instead we will have something that connects them right here, but then we don't really need that one either. So, a chest is marked too, and I want a provider module, and I want an item sink. And it's gonna take fertilizer and ash. Like so, and then we're gonna have a chest on top of that, obviously. And they tend to orient the wrong way, but seems to get fixed once you log in and out or perhaps even you just need to yeah make the block update somehow so and if I now put in this in the quick sort they should be extracted and deposited here and I had uh, some left doors in the other rooms so in the quick sort chest in the main sorting room so that also got transported here excellent so any overflow will go into that chest instead of back somewhere where we don't need it so what to do with this fuel well let's craft up some uh, biofuel engines why don't we actually it's biogas engine if you want to be like really picky about it. So as with all engines, it's gonna be a piece of glass, piston, and uh, gears. And this one is done with the bronze, I'm gonna say. Yes. So I don't know, just give me a bunch. a start but we need more come on actually we can just begin with the parts we have no we need the gears first of course stupid biogas engine so now I can take this guy away it didn't produce any ash it doesn't produce ash on the every peat it burns but every once in a while so let's see I don't want to do this. Uh, perhaps something like this. And of course we're going to need some conductive piping. We're probably going to need all of those. Uh, but what else? We need thought I had, yeah, some wooden pipes and some redstone to make them conductive. And I did bring a tank. Let's place the tank while we're waiting. 
Wanna have a tank right here that's gonna hold the biofuel that we produce. And I'm gonna have the power come out this way. Like so. And um, I guess I could connect it on the ground here. Nice looking, I think. Let's just get this and sleep. And of course, I didn't bring enough, uh, just one short. with blocks like that but uh, I don't want anything to go to waste so I'm gonna get some more conductive piping and I'll be back so I got the final piece of conductive pipe that I needed uh, and we're gonna need to arrange a little more waterproof piping behind here so I'm gonna dig around a little bit we'll see what we can do we need to pump out biofuel from the fermenter and into this tank um, let's see, I suppose I could place like so to get it pumping and that one can be constantly on so let's just put a torch right there. And then we want to get the biofuel into our engines. So I'm going to do it from underneath. And so a wooden pipe there. And then we want a Oh, I just knocked up off the torch there. Not good. Let's just place it there instead. And is it getting dark already? Yes, it is. So I'll go sleep and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see. We want a redstone engine there, and it's going to be powered by the same torch there, so that's good. And then uh, like so. Nice. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Much better. Uh, and as you can see, my peat bog here is uh, in kind of a bad shape. That's because I'm uh, completely out of uh, bog earth. And I could of course go craft some more manually, but uh, I'd rather concentrate on this work in here to get the uh, production automated instead. So, 
we got biofuel, but uh, we want to keep these engines running somehow. And uh, we're gonna need, well, first of all we need some lava because they need a way to heat up. So they use a little bit of lava to start up. But once they're up and running, they only consume uh, the fuel they have. And of course, as all engines, they need a redstone signal. And me being me, I want to automate it with the uh, gates so that they only run when this guy has work to do. Or any other machines that they are connected to. So, I'm gonna go get some gates and uh, a few buckets of lava and I'll be back. And I'm back here with a few gates and some wires. So let's just hook one up there and uh, I think I want to fix up this floor actually because I don't want to fall in. And uh, I realize I should have gone one deeper with this power line here so I could uh, cover up the floor a bit more. So I'm going to fix up that and I'll be back. So that's better. And uh, let's put down the wire here while we're at it. Like so. And let's just get over here. so much better and the gates oh I forgot a few things of course uh, well if you had the red pipe signals and redstone signal and the same for you now I could of course do something uh, elsewhere this one since the conveys the redstone signal in some other way to the next one to save a gate, but... Ah! I'm not gonna do that. And you, of course, let's see... That's interesting. Seems that we have some new conditions here that I'm unfamiliar with, but for now let's just go with uh, has work. So if you have something to do, send a red pipe signal. So now the engines have the uh, red pipes, uh, red uh, redstone signal, but uh, as I said, they need a little bit of help to get started and I'm probably gonna have to at some point automate uh, lava production as well because uh, every time they turn off and turn on again they're gonna need a little bit of lava again you see it's not much really but a little bit and that of course means that the lava will be consumed over time, so I need to fix that up somehow. But that's going to be for later. So, we got uh, power production. And uh, then we can uh, set up the carpenter to produce uh, bog earth. That's the main reason why we started with this, isn't it? So, let's see, we need another carpenter. That's gonna take two pieces of glass, one sturdy machine, and six pieces of bronze. So I'll be back when I get this ready. One carpenter. Nice. And I want that one to go like so, perhaps. 
I don't know. I don't really have a good plan. It's just gonna be. And I could run the water pipe underground, of course, but uh, I think I want to have more carpenters running here, so might be a good idea to keep it like so. So we got water supplied, and then we also need power, of course. And that's gonna go underneath. So I'm gonna hook up under the floor to these power lines here. And I'm gonna have a gate uh, on this one as well, saying if you have work, send a red pipe signal so that these engines will work uh, if any of the machines hooked up to them have work to do, not just the fermenter. So I'm gonna fix up this cabling and uh, I'll be back when I'm done with that. So I have connected the power and uh, also set up the gate to activate the engine when he's got some work to do. So let's just fill up real nice like so. And the final touch. Now I'm not sure if uh, this carpenter here works with the crafting logistics pipe or if I need to do it some other way but uh, we'll try that and we'll see. So do I have... Uh, no I don't. I'm gonna get myself a couple of those and where do we have the logistics pipes there we go one of those crafting and of course I need uh, a bunch of these guys and while we're waiting for them, we can set up this pipe here. And actually, we want to set up this one. Mulch, dirt, and sand. Should give us bog earth. I could connect it straight over here, that might be just as well actually. So let's knock this off. Like so, and I probably can't import it. No, I'm gonna have to set it up manually. So let's just borrow that guy for a while. Tell him if you got one mulch, four, no, 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 not like that, four of those, then you're gonna get, I need of course a piece of bog earth, and I'm just going to go fix that and I'll be back. So I got my bog earth and uh, we got eight of those, right? Oh, that's not good. Because we kind of removed the recipe, so now everything is just going to be a mess in here. Yeah. So we're going to knock that one off for a while again. Because this did not work as intended. That's for sure.
So let me investigate this a little bit and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's try this again. Apparently you need to have the pipe uh, on the side of this uh, machine. Uh, when you, if you put it on the top, uh, things are going to land in this spot here. And we are not going to use that one for this anyway. So I got the recipe in here and now we just need to tell this guy about it. One mulch. Four dirt and four sand. And what happens now? Just a little hiccup. It's gonna give me eight pieces of bog earth. So let's see, does this work? I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Here comes the resources stuff goes in engines turn on and it looks fine here so the engines not like that and I'm out of lava, that's why that one's not working. So the basic principle is working. I just need to supply this guy with lava somehow. Uh, hmm. Now this might not be such a good idea after all since uh, Starting and stopping engines a lot, these engines a lot, is not good since that will consume lava and uh, I really don't like that. So the biogas engines are much better suited to be running non-stop. Hmm. So maybe I should set up a small solar power plant on the roof or something to power the machines in this room and just have the biofuel used for like the quarry or something like that. But uh, I think we have run this episode way too long already so I'm gonna wrap it up. As you can see the bog earth production is working and the peat bog is fixing itself up nicely. So we just need to figure out the lava issue and stuff like that but that will be for next episode. So for now, bye bye!